Hallie Laura Channel, you're watching Prince Harry shows Queen and Prince Philip clips of Meghan Markle's TV show Suits. Prince Harry played the Queen and Prince Philip clips from cable TV show Suits so they could become acquainted with the woman who will marry their grandson in May. Courtiers claim that Proud Harry showed the Queen videos of the American legal drama from YouTube on her iPad earlier this summer. It is understood Meghan Markle was not in the room to avoid embarrassment. A friend of Meghan in Los Angeles revealed, Harry had been beaming for months about his blossoming romance when he went to see his grandparents. And as he explained his feelings and pride about Meghan, he wanted to show the Queen just what Meghan did for a job. Some clips were played from YouTube for her although Her Majesty does not have time to binge watch the series from the start. Obviously he had spoken at length beforehand about all her charitable work and interest in causes that the pair shared. It was a very touching moment and a nice way for Harry to show off Meghan to them. The source added, the moment helped Harry to show his older family how successful his future wife had been in her career. Meghan will spend Christmas with the royal family at their annual gathering at Sandringham. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle wedding, Windsor Hotels booked at this much a night. Hotels in Windsor are already feeling the Meghan effect, writes Jamie McCann. Within hours of the date of the royal wedding being announced, prices soared as high as £629 a night. And most accommodation has already been booked up. The news that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will marry on Saturday, May 19, at St. George's Chapel in Windsor Castle sparked a booking frenzy among royal fans. Those still looking for rooms yesterday were left disappointed as some 98 per center of hotels were fully booked fewer than 24 hours after the announcement. The only Windsor hotel still available on website booking.com, the Heathrow slash Windsor Marriott, charging £629 for just one night with no breakfast. Travel Lodge's nearest branch sold out in minutes. Spokeswoman Sheikh Ali Ahmed said, Royal Wedding Fever is starting early. Our Windsor Travel Lodge, which is just five minutes away from Windsor Castle, sold out within minutes of the announcement being made. It is believed the wedding between Prince Harry, 33, and actress Meghan, 36, will provide a £1 billion boost to Britain's economy as tourists flock to catch a glimpse of the couple on their special day. Meghan is already a celebrity in the US and Canada, leading to an expected influx of visitors from across the Atlantic. Like the Kate effect, which has boosted British fashion firms as fans snap up items worn by the Duchess of Cambridge, the Meghan effect will be a boon to British businesses and manufacturers through merchandise and tourism. David Hayden, general manager of M Gallery Castle Hotel Windsor, said, As soon as the date of the wedding was announced we received hundreds of calls asking for rooms. Airbnb also expects entrepreneurial residents of the surrounding areas will put their spare rooms on the accommodation sharing website in a bid to make extra cash. James McClure, Airbnb general manager for the UK and Ireland, said, Windsor has long attracted tourist attention for its royal connection but neighbouring Slough is not typically known as a tourist hot spot. We anticipate both destinations will see a considerable spike in guest arrivals for May 2018 which offers the perfect opportunity for anyone living in the local area to make a little extra income. But the benefits will not just be seen by hotels. Bars and pubs should be able to extend their opening hours for the special occasion, according to the chairman of the British Beer and Pubs Association. Bridget Simmons said, A royal wedding is a great national celebration and a wonderful opportunity for us all to get together in the pub. The wedding is taking place on the same day as the FA Cup final. This may be a problem for Harry's brother William, who is favourite to be best man but who also presents the cup as president of the Football Association. FA officials are said to be consulting with officials planning the wedding to make sure there is time for the prince to get to Wembley in time for the 5.30pm kickoff. The wedding is expected to start at 11am or noon, allowing TV viewers to enjoy both events. On the other hand, US TV networks will want the wedding to start as late as possible because of the time difference so that more viewers there can see it live. Sergeant Simon Kempton, of the Police Federation, said the double booking would put additional pressure on police resources. Meghan Markle's minimum wage job taught her skills for traveling with Prince Harry. 
Meghan Markle's minimum wage job taught her skills for traveling with Prince Harry, her former boss has revealed. Paula Scheftel revealed that before her big break, the former Suits star worked serving frozen yogurt and was very popular with customers. Ms. Scheftel said, We trained her to be personable and have great eye contact and be very genuine skills she's going to need traveling the world with Harry. Meghan was still at school maybe a little older than 13 as the rules are strict in California. She earned minimum wage and was very popular with customers. She had to prove she had an outgoing personality and would work well with staff. A lot of the kids can't handle the pressure. It takes a special personality for somebody that young to deal with it. Megan had that early on. The high schoolers work 10 to 12 hours a week, after school each day and on weekends. We're all excited for her engagement. She comes from humble beginnings like most of us. I'm now wondering if all my team want to be princesses. The 36-year-old was said to be responsible for taking out the bins at the establishment. During the future royals' time at Humphrey Yogurt in Los Angeles, she ran into Baywatch star Yasmin Bleeth who was reportedly her idol at the time. During the encounter in the store car park, the Suits star reportedly declared excitedly Oh my God, I loved you in that soft and DRI commercial. The Baywatch sensation looked at the young Megan and said OK, thank you. Following her job at the Humphrey Yogurt, the future royal went on to star on the US version of Deal or No Deal as a suitcase girl as well as making a brief appearance in the film Horrible Bosses. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry will get married on May 19, 2018. Thank you, please share video and subscribe my channel for more video.